Hey, it's Nicole Steen. Today we're gonna do an abs and arms workout and finish with a long stretch to have you feeling your best. Let's get ready. All right, you guys, you ready to work your arms and abs? Yeah, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it. So give me a deep inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, yes. We're gonna get nice and warm here. Okay, take it side to side neck right here. Good. Stretching it out, half rolls. Yes, full neck roll to the left. Other side, roll it out. Bring those shoulders back, roll it back. There you go. Feel that stretch and forward here. Good. Now give me some big arm circles. So we're really gonna get into this upper body today. Working the abs, the arms, the shoulders, chest, back. We have Christelle who's over here. Hey. Working it out with me. And then Casey, yes. She's gonna be our modifier. Go ahead, get into these ribs. Take it front and back, push up. Out, yes. You guys ready at home? Let's work it out. Woo. Now I want you to give me a little bend and rotate right here, rotate. Get into those arms, get into those shoulders. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold the palms up, pulse it up. Now if you feel any tension in your neck as we're doing these moves, go ahead, roll the shoulders out. Take a little break and you can come back later. Four, three, two, crisscross right here. Cross and open. Now we're getting into those chest muscles. Yes. Feeling a slight burn. A good burn, we love it, right lady? Yes. Oh, good. Uh huh. Come on. Hold it here, give me a circle. Get into the back a little bit with that circle. Still keeping those shoulders down. Take it forward, eight, six, five, Four, three, two, bicep curl, curl it, yes. So the reason I have you in a grand plie second position right now is because I want you to be able to have your core intact and not put all the energy into your back. You wanna have the knees bent, it helps to support you. There you go. Keep curling it right here. Feel those shoulders. Ooh, I, I feel, feel that. Yeah. Yeah. Feel them, you guys. <laughs> feel the biceps. It's all working. Go ahead, release. Give me a little Ooh, stretch so right here. Yeah. So good. Yeah, right? Bring those feet to first position, heels together. Give me a little slight plie. All right, hands right here. Bring it up and down. Up. There you go. You want your hands to go right in front of your shoulders, in front of your chest. Bringing it down to the thighs. Now I want you to take your feet parallel and lift and rotate the hands. As your hands are here, your hips are tucked, your knees are bent, your abs are pulled in. Even though we're working the arms right now, focusing on the arms, your abs are still getting all of the work too because it's holding you up. Four, three, two, hold and pulse it here, pulse it up. Yes. Ooh, there's the burn. There's the burn, <laughs> the burn we love so much. That's just me. <laughs> yes. Foot, three, two. Now draw a circle. Palms are facing up because I'm giving you the best arms ever, yeah. Now reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me a little bicep curl, only 90 degrees this time. We're getting a shorter part of the bicep muscle. Nice, framing the face, looking pretty. There you go, three. Two, take it into your waist like this. Pull it back, extend, back, extend. Yes, squeeze those back muscles. You got it. Come on. Four, three, two. Now I want you to hold it out. Right arm is gonna curl for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now left, curl it, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and right for four. Give me four, three, two, and left. Come on, four, 
Three, two, now two and two, let's go, give me two. Two, two. Feel that burn, shoulders Ooh. and biceps. Ooh. Singles right and left, right and left, right and left. Now speed up the tempo, let's go. Oh, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep Ooh. going, come on in. Four, three, two, hold it here. Take it up and open. Now we're getting into the chest. Shoulders are always on, giving me that 90 degree angle, like a little touchdown position when you come out. Yes, eight, seven, Woo. six, five. Abs are still pulled in to the spine. Abs are on, two. One, hold it here, rotate down and up. Now we're getting to that scap area. Feel it right behind the shoulders there. You got it. We're burning. Yeah, we are. You were burning, <laughs> yeah. We are. Come on, come on. Eight, seven, let's go. Six, five, let's get it. Give me four, three, two, one, bring it down. Oh, get a little break, Ooh, get a little that break. Feels so nice. Okay. Yeah. Get a little roll, <laughs> I know, we need this break. Even though we're not using weights, you guys, we're still feeling it. We for sure are, it's crazy. Yeah, you don't need weights for this, but if you wanna use weights, go ahead and grab them. I say one to three pounds if you wanna get a little challenge. You don't need anything more than that because we're doing tiny muscles here. We're doing nice, fast reps to get it burning. Now hold it here, let's raise the roof. Raise it up. Raise the roof, because we're gonna have some nice arms. Yeah, so yeah. we're raising the roof for that, right? <laughs> yeah. Let's go, give me for eight, sure. seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now bring it in, I want three chests, and bring it down like this, yes. Eight. And down, let's go, seven. Woo. Down, you're really Weaving those elbows together. Yes, let's go. Four more, let's go. Four. Keep it moving. Down. Three. And down. Two. And down. One more. We're gonna hold the down and draw a circle right here. Eight, get into Woo. the back. Oh, yes. Reverse that circle. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up, squeeze it, elbows in. Now we're getting Ooh. into those tiny chest muscles. I know, Jeez. I know. What is this? This is a burn <laughs> for the chest, for the shoulders, for everything. Come on, for four, three, two, double time right here, let's Ooh. go. You can do it. We're doing it together, we're burning together. Yes. Now I want you to press it up right here. Press it up, up, up. Yes, yes, come on, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh. Oh. Shimmy so it out. <laughs> Shimmy it out, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn it to the side. I wanna get into some triceps, get into the back of those arms. Tilt it forward from the hips. Bring those arms to the hips right here. Elbows in, kick back. Kick back, let's go, kick it back. Yes. So when you're doing your kickbacks, you don't wanna swing the arms, you wanna extend from the hips. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Turn the palms up, pulse it up, up, yes. Palms are up, you want it to go higher than your back. Pulling your belly in for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, now let's draw a baby circle right here. Eight, seven, six, you're getting your triceps, you're getting your back. Reverse the circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, now. I want you to turn the hands in and give me one inch kickback. Very small, very tiny, yes. Woo, come on, give me eight. If you're feeling this in your neck, I need you to relax those shoulders Pull them away from the ears. Now turn your palms down and take it up. Up, yes, pulse it up, up. You got it, come on. Keep it tight. Yes, 
right here. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze it in. Let's work that back. Squeeze it in. In. Yes. See if you can make those hands touch. Still keeping your belly pulled into the spine for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, oh yes. Holy yeah. full arms and abs. We're gonna open up those legs nice and wide in a grand plie squat. Take it side and side. So now we're getting into these standing ab workouts here. Reach for your ankles. So we really get nice and low. Yeah. You got it. Three, two, nine. I want you to hold it to the right and pull to here. Pull. Yeah. Little, little, little obliques work. The lower you reach, the better. Other side, come on. Try not to tilt too far forward. You really want to get into the sides. Yes, now we're going to take our hands to our head and make her elbows touch her knees. Right there. Staying nice and tall. If it gets too much for you, you can stand up a little higher. Eight more. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out right here. We're gonna go ahead and bring our right knee to our right elbow. So watch Casey if you need a modification for these moves. We're tapping here, but if you want a challenge, try not to touch the floor. Yes, there you go. Six, five, four, three, two. Now I want you to hold and pulse. Yes, pulse it, pulse it. You got it. Let's go, let's go. Give me eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, hold, and release. Shake it out, shake it out. So you really want to feel those obliques engage. Here we go, other side, take it out. So you're tapping here. You can also let go, yes. Have a slight bend in your supporting leg for support. You got it. Now, let's speed up, double time. They are bringing the knee to your elbow. Burn it out, burn it out. Yes. I know, come on. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Yes, shake Woo. it out. One side is always stronger than the other, right? Yeah, absolutely, always. <laughs> always. So we're gonna take it to the floor now, working our core a little bit more. Go ahead, bend those knees, hands behind your head. Look straight up, take it up and down, up. So pretend when you're doing your crunches that there's a tennis ball between your chin and your chest. You do not want your chin to touch your chest. Hold it up and pulse. Pull your belly into the spine so your back is nice and flat on the floor. Lift your right knee up, lift it up. Looking straight up at the ceiling. Now you're gonna bring your knee into your elbow like this, twist. Extend. Yes, there you go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Give me four, three, two. Can you take the legs straight up and down? Up and down, yes. Twisting it all the way. You got it, give me four. You're trying to get into those obliques. Three, two, one. Switch legs, other knee up, up. Up, good. Let's go, bring it in and out, in. Fully extend, Casey's giving us a modification. Yes, you wanna get into those lower abs, you make that leg go down a little lower. Take it straight up and down. You got it, twisting it out. Come on, give me four. Three, two, now I want you to take both legs up and climb the rope. Climb the rope to ab greatness. Let's go. <laughs> We're there. Yes. We're trying to get to the top. Having those nice ripped abs. You gotta put in the work. 
Now put your hands underneath your back. We're gonna do down for two, up reverse crunch. So you really wanna get those legs low as possible so you can get into the lower abs. Yes. Four more like this, four. Three, yes, make sure you're breathing. I hear Christelle, she's getting her breath in. <laughs> oh, I feel it so much. <laughs> you wanna breathe into your abdominal muscles. Now hold it down, flutter kicks right here. If you wanna go harder, you can lift your head. The lower you go, the harder the work. Crisscross right here, crisscross. Yes, four, three. Now I want you to give me a hollow man hold. Feet are straight, head off the floor, arms behind you for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh, yes. Oh. We are gonna do what I like to call a shooting star. Open your legs to an X. You're gonna lift your head and feet and arms off the floor. Come up to a boat pose and release. Let's do eight. Eight. Yes. Seven. Six. Exhale on the up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Now I want you to rush and twist it out. Twist it out. If this is too challenging for you, put your feet down on the floor. I don't want you to have any pain in your back. This is all obliques. All obliques, core. If you feel your thighs trying to get into the mix, say no. Turn them off, turn off your hip flexors, get into those abs. Give me four more. Three, two, hold. Bow pose for eight, seven, or you could take it to a V sit. Five, four, three, two, and release. Ooh. Ooh. Hurt so good though, yeah. right? It's a yeah. good burn. <laughs> we love a burn, you guys. So we're gonna take it to a plank position, side plank, onto your elbow, press it up. We're gonna do rotating side plank. So your hands are gonna come here, rotate down and tap your hip. Yes, tap. If this is too challenging for you, watch Casey. She's on her knees. She's still making it work. As long as you pull your hips up away from the floor, you're gonna get those obliques fired up. Two. One, now lift that top leg and hold it for eight, seven, six, push up higher. Give me four, three, two, and release. Good job. <laughs> Let's take it to the other side. Press it up. Find your breath. Twist it out. Twist. Yes. Touching that hip. Look at that hip when you come down. Give me four. Keep your shoulders stacked over the elbows. Two. One, lift the top leg, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Great job, Ooh. you guys. We're gonna get it back into those arms with some push-ups. So go ahead, take it, hands directly underneath your shoulders, toes. You're only giving me 10 right here. Let's get into it, down and up. Down, make sure you exhale on that up. If this is a challenge, you wanna modify it. Follow Casey on her knees. Yes. Four more, team, come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job, sit it back. Child's pose. Enjoy the stretch, the stretch is your friend. <laughs> your <Yes>. best friend. <laughs> All right, we have a walking plank. So I want you to come up on your hands again. We're gonna walk it down, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. It looks something like this. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, yes? Elbow, elbow. So the key is to keep your body stable. Make sure you're not rotating side to side. If it's too much, maybe you go on your knees. You wanna keep it going though. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt, squeeze the legs. You got it. 
keep pushing. Keep working to the end. Woo. You're almost there, team. Can you give me one more? Yes. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and hold your plank right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Sit it back, child's pose. You guys, that was your arms and abs workout. Yes. Who's ready for that long, beautiful stretch? Oh. Sign me up for that. Sign yes. you up. <laughs> Go ahead, take it up. Push up, Cobra. Let's stretch her neck as you look to the side. So when you're doing all that arm and shoulder work, other side, tension tends to get into your neck. So that's why you really want to stretch it out. Again, look front and back. Now take it to a cat-cow position, all fours, and roll it up and out. Inhale, exhale. Yes, give me four more like that. Four, three, oh, this feels so good. Two, and one. I want you to take that back leg to the front, bend the knee. Extend your other leg straight and reach forward. Stretching out the back of your hip. Getting a nice full body stretch here. Really wanna breathe into your muscles. Now bend the back leg, extend the front, take it back to your elbows. Oh, this feels nice. So good, right? That hip flexor area, the quad stretch, so necessary to stretch these muscles out. When you're stretching the quad, it takes pressure off of your knees. For those of you who have knee problems, do this stretch. It also gets into your hips. It all is connected. Take it forward, nose to your knee. We're gonna stretch out our hamstrings. If you can't reach your nose to your knee, that's fine as long as you're reaching forward and getting that stretch behind the leg. Breathing into it. Yeah, let's feel that stretch. Let's go ahead and switch it out. Bring the other knee in, the other leg straight back, and reach forward. Really breathe. Think about the great work you did, and maybe sometime, maybe it's your rest day. You wanna just get in a nice stretch? Well, here you go. This nice, long stretch is going to get your body moving. Extend that leg in front. Take it back to the elbows. Feel that stretch. Quads, hip flexors. Yes, nice. Take it down more if you can. Still keeping your abs pulled in so you're not straining your back. All right, take it forward, hamstring stretch. Always good to stretch every day before workout, after workout. So many times when it comes to the cool down of my classes, people leave. <laughs> that's the part, that's the most important part. You have to stretch if you want your muscles to recover. You don't wanna have cold muscles. You wanna be able to go hard the next day, stretch, I promise you. It'll make a change in your body. Take your legs forward. We're gonna stretch out the back of our legs. Take it up and over. Grab your toes, lift the heels off the floor. If you can't reach your toes, you can always just go to your calves. Yes, I, I used to be one of those people also, so I would run out. I'm like, I gotta go, I have to go do something else. No, now I realize it's so important to get the stretch in to avoid injury. Because when you're injured, then you really are out for the count, right? Stretch. Point your toes. Take it down more. So 
Feel the stretch in your lower back, your hamstrings. Breathe into it. Yes, go ahead. Let's stretch out our back. Take your knee over and twist. So pull up through your chest. Stretch out that glute muscle. Now I want you to take that knee down, pull both of those knees into your chest, still stretching out the back of that hip. Rotate the ankle, getting a nice ankle stretch for all my people who love to jump and dance. Definitely need to stretch out those ankles. Maybe you've seen some of my dance videos. You know we do a lot of jumping, a little jump split here and there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, take the other leg across and twist. Pull up through the spine. Breathe into the muscles. Feel that stretch. Go ahead, take that knee down. Pull it into your chest. Nice and close. The closer you get, the more of a stretch you get. Rotate the ankle. Other direction. Good. Now I want you to bring those feet down, bring them together and push yourself up. Let your body hang, grab your elbows. Shake your head yes and no. Just let it drop. Feel the gravity pull you down, pulling those arms, the back elongating everything. Slowly roll it up. Take it to the front. Take that arm across. Stretching out your shoulders, rotate the wrist. Take it back. Give me a tricep stretch. Take that foot behind for a deeper stretch on the side. Now take the other arm across. Feel that stretch. When doing that arms workout, oh my gosh. Yes. Definitely felt those shoulders working, right? Much needed. Much needed. Take the elbow back, get into the triceps. Take that foot back, stretch it out. Nice side stretch. Good. Go ahead, take your hands behind you. Push forward with the chest. Ah. Oh. Let the head rotate. Stretch out the neck. So good. Deep inhale, press it forward. Stretch out the upper back. Once again, getting all the tension out of the neck. Yes. I want you to rotate it to the right. Right here, rotate it. Oh, full body, like a hula hoop. <laughs> rotate everything, other way. Feels so good to be mobile, right? This is what you need, a nice good stretch. Take it down right here. Get into the lower back. Other side. Roll it up. Exhale. Up. Exhale. Two more. Last one. All the way up. Take your head over to the side. Pulling away with the other arm. So you get a deeper stretch there. Now release, other side, stretch it out. Great work, you guys. Give me a deep inhale. 
exhale. We just completed our great stretch Yay. right there. Way to work. I'll see you next time. <laughs>